I don't buy new cars. I don't buy brand names. I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money. I like to find bargains. It's the life I chose. I throw nothing away. I'll find a use another day for all this junk I keep. My neighbors all hate me. They abuse and berate me cause I like doing it cheap. Yeah, I like doing it cheap. Welcome to another episode of Doing It Cheap. How y'all doing this morning? It's Papa again. And, uh... It is about 10.30 in the morning on Friday morning, March 30th. And uh, I was so amazed at how them seeds had, that had sprouted, started sprouting yesterday, I was amazed at how they took off in the past 24 hours. So at the end of this video, I'll, I'll take the camera and go beyond her to show it to you. Amazing. Can't believe in 24 hours. Well, what I want to talk to you today about is... It, it, it sparked me to, I heard something on the news that sparked me to go ahead and make this video. They were talking about Amazon and how big Amazon was getting and, and should they break it up and all that. And I'm like, <sighs> some people create a company and just because it's been successful, people want to mess with it. It, uh, they, you know, whining and crying because they're talking about how, you know, they're not paying the sales tax and, uh, you know, if they ship it out of state or whatever and wanting to tax the whole freaking internet. It's just, damn politicians, leave shit alone. All they want to do is look for something else to tax. Tax it, tax it, tax it. Oh, that don't move, tax it. Oh, that moves, tax it. Oh, tax it, tax it. Are you going to buy a new car? Fine. Gonna pay taxes on it when you buy it. Oh, you buy a used car. Well, you gotta pay taxes on it. Why? Taxes already been paid on it. Don't matter, you're buying it, ain't you? So every time a car changes hands in my state, every time a car changes owners, the the new owner gotta pay sales tax. Bunch of crap. Oh <coughs> anyway, what a, again, what I want to talk to you about. Well, sometimes a company can get too big. Now, y'all know I like doing it cheap. And last year I was at my favorite shopping center where you throw away stuff. <laughs> and a guy had come in with a truckload of computers and keyboards and mice and I call them mice, you know, mouses. <laughs> and these computers. And what had happened was some company was moving, doing something or another. Anyway, they pulled the hard drives out of their computers and had the, this crew come in and just strip the building empty. Take everything that was left behind. Just clear it all out because they was leasing the property that had to be cleaned out. And this guy was throw, uh, throwing away computers, so I grabbed four of them because one of my one of my good intentions that'll probably end up going to hell with me one of my good intentions I want to make one of those those solar heaters I know you've seen them if you've done any research on them it's where the sun shines in on some black painted aluminum cans and and you know it absorbs the heat in the winter time and anytime sun shining on it and it you know goes into your house it'll heat your house well, I wanted some of them little, them little fans that's inside the computer. I think they just run off 12 volt. But I said, you know, what could, could be better than have a solar panel sitting there 
that when the sun comes up and the sun hits the solar panel and it creates electricity that it goes and powers this little fan and let this little fan push air into that solar heater and then the air ends up coming right back into the house all warm. I thought, wouldn't that be cool? So they stole away these computers, so I said, well, I'm going to grab some of them because I want them fans out of them. Well, my uh, computer here that drives my machine that cuts out my vinyl lettering, the, DD, the DVD player in it crapped out on me. I said, oh man. So I got on, I got online and contacted the supplier. And the name brand of my computer rhymes with hail, all hail. I'm not going to say who he was, but the name of them rhymes with hail. So I get online and I find that I can get a DVD drive, CD slash DVD drive, shipped to my house for like $19.99, shipping included. And I'm going, oh yeah, heck yeah, that's cheap enough. <coughs> so I ordered it at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then I go outside and I remember I've got them computers. So I went out there and sure enough, I had a Dell. Oh, I didn't say Dell. I said, I said, rhymes with hell. I had a computer out there. This is, this is the DVD drive I pulled out of my computer. So I go out there and sure enough, one of them computers has the exact same drive in it. And it's a Model TSH653. Identical. I said, cool. So I took it out, installed it in my, my computer here, and it worked. So I've got my machine where to work again. So that got me all excited. Cool, cool. So I called, I, uh, I got back on the website and I wanted to call customer service. They said, we're sorry customer service, we're, we are closed Saturday and Sunday. And I believe this is a Sunday night, a Sunday afternoon actually that I did this. When I actually ordered this, it was Sunday afternoon. And about three hours later, it wasn't much longer than that, just three hours. I am on the, I'm on the phone calling their customer service because they did have a 24-7 customer service line. And I explained to the guy, you talk like that from a country very far away. And I, uh, I, I told the guy what the deal was. I said, I said, I need y'all to cancel my order and just refund my PayPal payment. I said, I don't need this after all. Oh, we cannot do that? I said, what do you mean you can't do it? Oh, it is too far already in the, in the shipping and, 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 and it's ready to go. I said, that's horseshit, man. I said, you're closed Saturday and Sunday. And this is Sunday. I said, well, put a, put a call in to, who, it's FedEx, to FedEx and tell them to return the package. You can do that. They'll intercept it. Oh, you wait until you receive it, and then you may call us back and request us to send, send a label. <coughs> All right, fine. So, three hours after I placed this order, <coughs> they couldn't cancel the order in three hours. And here's what's crazy. I'm talking to a guy in the Far East, over Middle East, somewhere over yonder, in another country. And their warehouse is in Lebanon, Tennessee, an hour and 15 minute drive from my house. Okay? They are an hour and 15 minutes from here. 
but because they are so big, they couldn't take the time to call the warehouse and say, hey, order number so-and-so, cancel that. They just went ahead, boxed it up, packaged it up, and set it on the dock or whatever for FedEx to pick up. So I call them after I get it. And uh, I told them, I, uh, I spoke to a little girl, and she was very nice. She was over in that foreign country too. Very nice young lady, very polite. And I told her, I said, I want to talk to somebody in the United States. She says, sir, I am sure that I can help you. Well, I don't know. Well, please let me try. I said, okay. So I told her what the situation was. She says, this is not a problem. She says, I will issue you a full refund. I said, okay, you, you, can, you can email me a, a, a shipping label and I'll put it on here and send it back to you. Oh no, just, just keep the item. It was cheaper for them to let me just keep this than it was to fool with, with uh, send it back, you know, print the label, send it back to them, them unpack it and put it back on the shelf. It was cheaper for them to just say, keep it, man. Here's your money back. So then she says, and you'll, you'll receive an email, you know, rating my, uh, my, my job, you know, how, how good a job I did for you. And I hope you'll, you know, give me five stars or whatever it is. And I says, ma'am, I said, I, I mean, no disrespect whatsoever, but all I've received so far is lip service. I haven't seen any action. I said, but I assure you, that if and when I get my refund, I will sing praises to the to the mountaintops, you know, about what a good job you did. What well, just a few minutes later I get an email and it's got her picture, cute little girl. And it says, you know, I'm the person that that that, that took care of your problem. Please take the time to rate my performance. And uh, she had told me it'd be like eight to ten days before I get my money back. So I told her, I said, well, I'll rate you in eight to ten days. But amazingly, I got my refund in 24 hours. So, can a company get too big? I think they can. But as long as they want to keep operating that way, that's their business. And I don't feel that we have a right to tell someone else how to run his or her company. You can choose to do business with them. You can choose not to do business with them. I, for one, will, will choose to do business with this company that, re, that rhymes with hail because they were very helpful. It was crazy the way it turned out. But apparently they care about customer service. So... So it's there, set the box, <laughs> got a DVD drive in it that I don't need yet. <laughs> and uh, so there you go. Another thing I want to talk about, damn troll. And some old fart <coughs> give me hell about my house, how I need to clean up my damn house. You know, how do you expect not to be sick living the way you did it? because he had seen my cardboard boxes. He didn't, however, see the video where I was talking about what I was going to do with these cardboard boxes. He just saw all this stuff piled up. Thought it was just a bunch of trash. Technically, I guess it is trash because it's empty cardboard boxes. But that's what's going out there in my garden. And I've had several people respond about the idea and they said, yeah, it works great. The other guy said, yeah, I've used newspaper. Another lady used newspaper in her raised beds. Another guy uses newspaper in the garden, and he and he, then he throws his lawn clippings on top of that. They'll keep the moisture down so, or in. So, uh, I uh, I encourage any of your comments and any ideas you have. But anyway, that's that uh, that troll. I let him. I let him have. I let him have it both barrels. Plus, I blocked him where he can't ever say nothing on my channel again. Who, what gives somebody, what makes somebody think that they have the right to talk ugly to somebody else that they don't even know? They wouldn't dare do it face to face.
Because I knock the shit out of it. <laughs> I may be old, by God, I ain't dead yet. And I'm just aggravated enough with this cold I've got that it wouldn't take much to set me off. <laughs> anyway, uh, I really appreciate, you know, y'all uh, watching my videos and hear me ramble. But I thought that was interesting. It was cheaper for them to let me keep that hard drive or the DVD drive than it was to send it back to them. Ain't that something? Well, I'm gonna, after I say goodbye, I'm gonna take the camera over there and I'm gonna show you what the seedlings look like after 24 more hours. Remember, on the on the uh, video I did yesterday about, you know, pawpaws, the way pawpaw starts seeds, the picture you see that was taken out of the video at 10.30 yesterday morning. So what I'm going to show you now is, well, 10.45 today. So 24 hours, 15 minutes later. It's crazy how much it changes. All right, folks, y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Yesterday, we only had like one of these little things barely peeking out. Whoops. Get focused. There you go. And then over here, look at this. These are cucumbers. The little tiny ones are basil. I think that may be beefsteak tomatoes. Anyway, that's what it looks like in just 24 hours difference. Isn't that something? I believe that right there would be a snapshot. See ya.